don't want to get beat up by the lead attorney because I know he's going to say I only got a one track mind. But what the brother was just saying, it fits together. I always say that a relationship is like a partnership in business. Mm. And if you've ever been a part of a partnership, you have to have what's referred to as an operating agreement before you get into that partnership. Yes. Because you have to put down on paper who has certain responsibilities, who is going to have access to the bank account, how mm -hmm. much can they take out? Maybe it's not a 50 50 partnership, you know, maybe it's a 75, 25 percent partnership. So in that case, this partner who's a minority partner can't pull out 100 percent of what's in the business bank account. That's got to be put in the operating agreement. So when you are trying to get married or have a relationship, treat it like a business. You need to have an operating agreement. Put everything out on the table before you say I do. Yes. When you have an understanding of what the responsibilities are going to be between the husband and the wife. What are the goals moving forward for educational things for the family, retirement goals. Put that out front early on. Then in the course of the relationship, there won't be surprises. Now, even in a business, there's amendments. Right. Things change, yes. but at least you're working from a framework. And I know the lead attorney is going to say everything isn't finance or business related. But to me, it just is. <laughs> I love it. Listen, <laughs> that, that your one track mind is what I need handling my business. <laughs> I don't want to hire an account. He's talking about sports and basketball. No, I don't want to hear about your, your fantasy draft. I want to hear you talk about mergers and acquisitions, right? So shout out to JT. Guys, listen, I don't know if you guys know this, but JT does consultations. You call him up and he will get your business right. He's, you know, he's not going to advertise it, but this is the man. You know, a lot of you guys were going to these old white men who really don't give a damn about you, right? And yeah. uh, we I, we absolutely need to support our own. And he's showing you, he's demonstrating to you his his, his wealth of knowledge and experience. So please go support oh, no, I got, this man. I got to shout out my, my baby girl. That's my wife. What's up, Rita? Oh, oh hey, shout, out, shout out. Shout out. What's up, baby girl? You know, awesome. the interesting thing about it is that, though, I don't look at my marriage like a partnership mm. at all. Really? Not even a little bit. Nope. It's a benevolent dictatorship. <laughs> <laughs> on, on whose side? On it, my side. It's okay. <laughs> it's a, it is. It's a benevolent dictatorship, and I'm a benevolent king, and I take into <laughs> account what it is that you say, right? And I take it into consideration, and I can also recognize the value that you bring. But let's be clear. I am the final decision maker when it comes to my, my household. If, if my that's what y'all agreed upon on the outset, it's all good. It's all good. If that was what it was set up in that operating agreement in the beginning of the of the partnership, then that's what it is. But JT, she's going after my name and my ring. So she's got to buy by my rules. She's allowed to have thought and say so. But like my man Anton saying, I make final decision. It doesn't matter what is happening. You bring it to me. We'll sit down and have our powwow. And you'll wait for my decision. It's not that mm -hmm. I'm saying you're I'm better than you. It's just no, I, I value my my wife yeah, yeah. immensely, and I think that she has a lot of value. But let's be clear: if we <laughs> if, if 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 the the house notes start falling behind, nobody's gonna come to her and say, "Hey, Rita, what the heck is going on in there?" They come in the end time. <laughs> Like when it all comes back down to it, yes. I'm the person that's going to have to be accountable for, for the rise and the fall of what goes on in this household. And so at the same time, I'm going to, I'm going to own every aspect of responsibility both ways. And again, she adds an incredible amount of value. And, and a lot of people have seen my live streams where I talk about all the value that she adds into my life and a relationship and being right. a mother and a business in certain rooms that I will never even be able to get in if she's not friends with certain men's wives that I do business with and have a great right. relationship with, right? But ultimately, what it comes down to is that we all we play our roles and everybody yeah. can't be king. No, it makes it. I was just having this conversation with my, my wife and my daughters uh, yesterday. See, I'm, I'm more a little bit more democratic, right? I told them I've got veto power, right? No matter, you know, what y'all vote on, because school starts for them the other day, and they was talking about their outfits, and they was doing a fashion show for my wife. I said, oh, that's great. But at the end of the day, daddy still got veto power, right? So y'all can pick, but I'm the final decision. But once again, that's all in my operating agreement. They understand coming in. 
And well, I, I got. I think I, I'm connected with Anton as I feel with my hands, my feet. What you're saying, like four flats. What he trying to tell y'all, and let me break it down, is that he's got his hand in every cookie jar. That means he is in control of his world and his universe. They are a part of his universe, but he is king. He makes final laws, and his laws are the driving force for the family unit of his last name. Right. That's yeah. what it's about. Correct me if I'm wrong, Antoine, because I know you like correcting. Am I wrong? No, no. <laughs> you, you're right. Absolutely. <laughs> and I mean, everybody play their roles, then they play it to a T. And, it's be- right. and you know what? Let me add this one thing, because I do want to get Perry unlikely in here, because I did bring you up, because I, you know, I know I want to get the different views and stuff. For sure. But let me say this also. Um, <laughs> well, let me get Perry's view first, and then, I'm a, and then I'll say it, because that could spiral down a whole nother rabbit hole and I don't want to do it. So Perry, go ahead. Listen, I appreciate you for supporting the platform. Oh, absolutely. Thanks for rocking with us, fam. I didn't know if you wanted to to give any insight on the conversation. Yeah, absolutely. Shout out lead attorney. Shout out Perry. Shout out Unlikely Perry always yeah. over yeah. here supporting your boy. Thank absolutely. you so much. Yeah, yeah. For I appreciate what you guys are doing, man. Um, I just want to point out, man, I think Anton is like, uh, he like Nick Saban. <laughs> yeah. like, or, or like maybe that's a heck five. of a compliment right there. Yeah, no, but I'm, I'm telling compliment. you, I respect it, man. Because look, I went to Auburn, so I, I hate Alabama. Oh. But, yeah, but yeah. something about the way Nick Saban, if anybody in their life goes about their job, it don't matter what it is, flipping burgers, whatever, the way he does, and there's no giving in. This is what I'm doing, and I feel like Anton sold it at calls. And I feel like somebody like that doesn't know how they don't know anything else. That's all they know is this. And no I, compromise. I, this is the system. And I believe that yeah, about I Anton. Know. I don't I don't know how you talk to people who because if you really <laughs> look at all these people who don't who who say they're struggling or, or have had challenges in life. I do think if you start to ask, OK, well, show me what you've done. You, you're going to probably see some some holes in it. But I just want to point out about marriage. Um, one thing I agree with about um uh, I like you all's view. I think it's uh, it's kind of like Darth Vader and Luke Skywalker. I think there's. there's <laughs> I, think I wonder there's, which one is Darth Vader. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I I am a married man, so. Uh, but what I will say that I actually agree with Anton about where he says you should wait uh, till you're married is you know to have sex is if you th- I don't believe anyone can name one problem in life that doesn't come from self-control. And if you wait until you're married, that is a signal of self-control on both sides. It just, and that's, and that's how it happened for me. You know what I'm saying? So think about it, the patience, the, the this, the that, if you're really dedicated to the cause, self-control is the biggest problem. And if you can wait until you get married and you go through that while people don't agree, I guarantee you the rates are gonna show you, you know, if, if you can control yourself, like we always talk about, dick discipline. That's what it. That's what it comes down to. And if you're looking mm-hmm. into the future, we're talking about a lifetime here. You can't wait a couple of years for a lifetime. That's that's a lack of self control. 